Hello ladies and gentlemen, I have something really cool to show you today. This is a game called Outer Wilds. Now, the thing about this game is that I saw it after playing the Minus Lab, and I realized that this game is, has absolutely no coverage, it's just like two videos of it on YouTube. Uh, one of them has like 200 views, the other one has like 400 views. The game says on the website, the description says anyway, Outer Wilds is a first-person space exploration game that lets players pilot a starship into the heart of a gas giant, meet fellow travelers on distant moons, and roast marshmallows beneath alien skies. The game takes place in a solar system of miniature planets as it dramatically evolves over 20 minutes after which the sun explodes and the universe ends. Over the course of multiple playthroughs, players will plan expeditions and discover ways to explore the most hostile reaches of the solar system. So I think that sounds pretty freaking cool. Um, and it's free. Just go to the website. I'll put it in the description and you can play it too. And let's get started. If this didn't just freeze, which I think it did. Nope, it didn't freeze. We're good. All right. Get my mouse off the screen. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Mouse is gone. Nope, mouse is back. Mouse is gone. All right. So... Here it is, it looks pretty good, I must say. Um, the graphics look pretty cool. You can see planets are up around, clouds. Apparently only have 20 minutes before the universe explodes, so let's see if we can do something. Hey there, ugly face. Hey, ready for the big day? Let's do it. You sound excited. How's the ship looking? Let's do it! That's the spirit. She's all ready to go. You just need those launch codes, and I, I mean, she's technically ready to go. There are a couple preliminary tests I could still run. That is, if you wanted to take your time getting those codes, statistically speaking, it's unlikely we'd blow up another one. All right, let's do it. Requires launch codes. Well, did you give me the launch codes, asshole? Can I have them? What does it say? Uh, those launch codes. What are those launch codes? Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna go exploring. It's lots of fun. Just, you know, walking around this little miniature village on a miniature planet. I like it. What are you saying? You're also ugly. I see you're off for some last minute practice. Well, the training rockets can't stay on forever, eh? We'll, we'll all be cheering for you at the launch. From a safe distance, of course. <laughs> you guys, come on. So once again, I'm playing this with an, uh, well, it's a... Technically, it's not an Xbox 360 controller, because it's, uh... PS3 controller, but I have it set up to emulate an Xbox 360 controller because it also recommends you play it with that. Good luck on your expedition. Any idea where you'll go first? If it were me, I'd check out that gnarled, thorny one. You can see it in the sky on certain nights. I wonder how big it really is. So I think that's kind of cool because you get uh, you get to visit all these different planets. Um, you gotta choose what you want to do because is that the gnarled, thorny one? It looks like it. You get to choose what you want to do. Um, you only have 20 minutes and you need to start over again. So I think it's pretty neat. And I think you guys should, uh, should try and promote this a bit because uh, obviously a lot of work went into it. They're really blasting off in that thing, huh? I know Goddard's made some fixes so they don't explode as often anymore. <laughs> but you're sh you sure wouldn't catch me climbing into that one. Oh, Jesus. Zero, zero G cave and observatory. I just want to get in the spaceship, but I don't have any launch codes. I don't think. Maybe I didn't press the right button when I was down there, but I don't know. What's this? I don't know. Nothing, I guess. Fly model ship. Okay, let's do it. Upward thrust. Downward thrust. Horizontal thrust. Whee! Can I run? Oh, I was going to run that guy over. Hold on. I'm not dead. I am not dead. Jesus Christ. I don't <laughs> it won't let me control it properly. Get your shit together. Okay, reset that. Okay, let me fly in it. Oh, gee, Jesus. Try that one more time. No, you can't kill anybody in this game. Maybe maybe you guys shouldn't check it out yourselves. Sorry. Sorry for wasting your time. Hello. Wow, that was just like the time the external fuel tanks exploded on re-entry. You're not getting in the big one now, are you? Gee, I am... I'm psyched out here. I don't know if I can handle it. I don't think I can get in that spaceship but I guess if everyone's gonna die in like 15 minutes why not right launch tower zero G cave okay let's see what we can do 
I'm having a lot of fun in this game already and I haven't even done anything. I like it. Sexy. Oh, it's like a fucking museum here and everything. This ancient statue is a subject of much debate. Our more imaginative thinkers argue that it exists in every possible configuration simultaneously and only collapses to a single state while it's being observed. The more rationally inclined believe that it simply phase shifts whenever you look away. Whatever the explanation, both sides agree that the effect is extremely creepy. I don't want to read everything, because, you know, you guys can go ahead and do that on your own time, because, you know, stop wasting my time. But, uh, oh, that's kind of cool. But, you know, there's lots to look at here, so that's good. What are you saying? There you are, I just finished pre-flight ob observations and local conditions are good. Except, except, uh, that is to say, to be honest, I've been getting some disturbing reports from other travelers. Brill Hollow's moon is starting to break apart, and seismic activity has been detected beneath the hourglass twins. Oh, and there are, so are storms brewing in the giant's deep. And, well, you get the picture. Storm brewing in my giant deep. Things are changing out there and faster than we've ever seen. Sounds like it could be dangerous to the expeditions. I'll see what that. Ought to make for a hell of an expedition. Exciting stuff, of course, but be careful out there. Ah, oh, I almost forgot. Here's the launch codes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's go for a launch. Let's go. We have it. Why are you loading? Why are you loading? I didn't ask you to load. You didn't load when I came in. Oh, wow. See that? The thing just changed. Anyway. Whoa. Oh, it's, oh okay. It's nighttime now. Things change in the night. Shifts every time you look away. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> that is awesome. Man, this game has its, uh, has some exciting things. Projectors on now and everything. Seriously, I'm, uh, I'm really surprised with how, how cool this game is. I still can't believe nobody has played this on YouTube. Not a single person. Only the guy who created it. He's the only one with the Oh, Roast Marshmallow. He's the only one to do it. Oh, I have a marshmallow. I'm just gonna burn up. Oh, 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 it's ready to eat. Mm, yeah. Launch codes. Let's get in. Activate lift. Here we go. This beautiful world. I have the graphics set on fantastic, but I mean, it's not. It shouldn't be too graphically intensive either way. Whee! I need to put on my suit. Got to gear up. Yeah. Oh, I got some. Got a little hug going on here. Buckling up. All right, right trigger lift off. I want to view my map first. Ooh, wow, wow, that's cool. Wow. Okay, I'm right here. This is the Hourglass Twins, Brittle Hollow. This is the dark bramble, the thorny thingy. Where do I want to go? What's this? Devil's Furnace. Let's go to the Devil's Furnace. Here we go. We are lifting off. Whoa, 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 whoa! I have to control this thing. Well, I don't know how to control it. Okay, uh, no, um, oh, Jesus. That's the sun. I'm here. I think I'm in orbit? Is that orbit? Kind of seems like, no, I'm not, that, that's not even, that's not even me. Okay. Um, oh, there's, there it is. I'm basically right next to it. Where, where's the, oh, there it is. Let's go to the devil's hollow. Okay, okay. Landing mode? What happened? Okay, okay. Okay, we're coming in. We're coming into the Devil's Hollow. Oh, Jesus! Why did you do that to me? Stop! Okay, can we try again? Is this thing just a little bitch? Not gonna let me, uh. Not gonna let me explore its little planet? Let's go to, uh. Go to this one, it looks more inviting. I think I'm I this is hard to control. Okay, uh we can engage in autopilot apparently. Here we go. Uh autopilot. Go! Woo! I'm having trouble getting anywhere, but uh you know. That's cool. No, I don't want to. 
crap. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know. Can I just, like, jump out? Whee! Something tells me I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh god, my ship is gone. But I'm, uh, I'm coming up on this thing. I'm coming in. I can't really do anything. I'm just gonna float towards it and see what happens. Fuel! I'm running out of fuel. Is, what, what is this? Okay, I have my jetpack on. I have low fuel. And I'm getting more. I guess it's solar fuel. That's cool. Here we go. We're in. Throw oh, back. Throw back. Okay. Um. Oh, Jesus. Where? Where am I? There we go. Okay, we've retrieved the probe. I don't know where we are, but I certainly want to explore more if possible. Okay, fuel is off. While I figure out what the hell is going on. Probe is gone. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? Apparently the probe just hit an anglerfish or something. Oh my god. There it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please don't kill me. Oh, it killed me. Or did it? Where is, is this the anus of the fish? We are approaching the fish anus very fast. Nope, this is a, uh, a little video of everything that just happened and we're going in reverse. And now what? Are we dead? Are we in heaven? Whew, that's bright. Whoa. And we are ready to start all over again. So guys, that was uh, my first look at this game. Outer Wilds, as I, it is called. So I think you guys should check that out. You know, get the get the ball rolling on this thing. I'm, uh, I only have 1,200 or so subscribers as of now. I don't have a lot of effect on anything, but uh, since nobody else has even played this game, I really think you should give it a go. Give it some, uh, give it some feedback. Give it, uh, give it a playthrough. Tell your friends about it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like this video. Share it around. Goodbye.